guys at TV here welcome back to another video so before I begin into this Oxford related video um, I, I mean I haven't done an Oxford or study related video for quite a while so this is my return and, and hopefully I can keep my education theme within this channel but I'd like, just like to say huge huge thank you for a thousand subs 1k subs that's unbelievable um, that was my goal right at the beginning and it's just taken so much effort and it just goes to show that anything's possible if you genuinely put in the effort and hard work and commitment dedication whatever it's the best feeling ever but um anyways <laughs> i just need to keep looking forward upwards and onwards to 2k uh, let's just keep going forward um and i'll just continue making these videos and which hopefully you guys find useful funny entertaining garden my 1k special i do have a video planned so i just as a bit of a taster i'm working with oscar um who's from my school and he's really good with his editing uh, videography capturing really good clips and all that sort of stuff and i plan to do a short short film with him no budget just a couple of us maybe I'll, i might call up a couple of friends to do it with us but a little short film which i plan to post as my 1k special so heads up for that um what it's about all the contents everything i'm gonna keep a secret for now but from the idea and the plan we've got it sounds really good so we shall see how that turns out to be i will also be using this video to remind you about the england game tomorrow in england versus italy for the first time in about 50 years england have got into the final so make sure you're watching that tomorrow at 8 p.m my score predictor will be, I am saying, 2-1 to England. Uh, I'm thinking Kane's going to score twice and possibly Insigna or Immobile to score for Italy. That's my prediction, 2-1. So, let's begin um, with the title of this video. So, today I just want to talk about books. So, if... You consider applying to Oxford or Cambridge, they expect to see your interest in the subject. And the best way to do that in the personal statement is by talking the, talking about the books which you've read. Um, focusing on human sciences, the course which I want to apply to um, next year. Um, I've just sort of done a list of different books across the three sort of main disciplines. So the biological aspect of humans, the social aspect of humans and the cultural aspect of humans. So being quite interdisciplinary, so really broad across loads of human related topics and subjects. Um, and I've just done a little rundown of all the books which I've seen um, on online blogs, um, which have been recommended to me from like teachers, other students, other university students I talk to, um, books I just randomly find interesting, uh, anything li uh, linked to humans. Uh, even though I've brought a couple of these, um, these are just books which I haven't like I haven't read all of them. So I've I would say about I've got literally less than five percent of these books or something. But um, it's just a plan for the future which I may want to read. Uh, just another pointer: uh, Oxford and Cambridge. I don't expect to see a massive list of books you've read. They prefer quality over quantity. So there's no point saying you've read 10 books, but in little detail, um, they say you should probably pick out one, two or max three and talk about what you learned in those books, what you found interesting, what your personal viewpoint was, etc. That's how you get the most credit out of the personal statement and um, what you sort of mention about the books. But I've got my lists here. I've just, these are my massive lists. I don't know if you can read that. Uh, but I will go through some of these. Some of these I just don't know anything about. I just see the um, the title and it just sounds interesting. But I will just read out everything I've got about Human Sciences Extra Reading. Uh, there are a couple of Netflix, Amazon, BBC iPlayer, ITV documentaries which seem interesting. So do feel free to talk about anything related to Human Sciences. This is not an absolute list. Do feel free to go out there, find some yourself. But these are some that I've just found. So starting off with the biological aspects of humans, um, I've gone from Bad Science by, bon by Ben Goldacre. 
Domesticated Brain by Bruce Hood, Language of Genes, The Selfish Gene, Life at the Extremes, Missing Microbes, How Killing Bacteria Creates Modern Plagues. Uh, there's a Netflix um, documentary called Pandemic. Um, do No Harm, Stories of Life, Death and Brain Surgery and The Social Dilemma on Netflix. So that's my list for the bio biology of humans. Uh, again, they're so, so broad. If I had to focus on one of these, I've picked out Selfish Gene. Selfish Gene is quite popular among um, biology and human sciences students, I've heard. But I've read about three quarters of the book now and it is absolutely interesting i'm thinking of doing it in like an independent book review of just that book once i finish it so look out for that but that book is just insane it's just given me so many different concepts regarding genetics so definitely consider that a read and any of the others which i've just mentioned as a quick uh, hint as well um obviously loads of people it's going to be a really competitive course you might want to look online what other people say about that book um, and potential criticisms. You could sort of prepare for that beforehand in the Oxford interview um, with a quick summary of the book. Just anything that would help you out uh, if you get offered an interview. Well, moving on to the social aspect of humans. Um, so, ling so sort of thinking about sociology and psychology, I've just gone into um, sort of areas that interest me, particular people. So starting off with Dally Dawling. Um, I've started off by pop buying population 10 billion. I'm about halfway through that. Uh, I don't need to finish that book off. Um, but so far from what I've read, it's really interested me about the demographic changes and like, the um, current issues we may face. I might do a book review on that soon. Um, and that's led on me to buy Inequality and the 1% and Injustice, Why Social Inequality Persists. And I plan to read that in the future sometime. Um, and leading on, he's got another book called No Nonsense Guide to Equality by Dawling, which I haven't got yet. Uh, and then the other books I've heard of, which sound really good, is Orientalism by Edward Said, uh, Goffman, pre Presentations of Self in Everyday Life, Discipline and Punish, Asylums, Goffman, Essays on the Social Situation on Mental Institute and Other Inmates, Marx, Das Kapital, 18th Brumaire of Louis Napoleon, Anne Oakley, Sociology of Housework. Um, Anne Oakley, Sociology of Housework. Um, I usually buy these books on eBay because I just find them for the best prices. And being secondhand doesn't really bother me. But I've noticed that uh, some books can be really expensive. Like that Anne Oakley one can seem a bit, is a bit expensive. But I do really want to give these a shot sometime in my lifetime. Well, moving into the cultural aspect. So talking about... Um, how people have changed the way their society functions as time's gone on or um, different areas of the world, wildlife's different religion, uh, social norms, things like that. Um, so we've got a World Religions, Francho, Turchat and Jemina, Shuzler. Um, that's just talking about global religions. A Better Politics, How Government Can Make Us Happier. A BBC R player, Adam Curtis, Hypernormalisation. I've watched that about three times. It's just an insane documentary. Honestly, it criticises all global leaders, all about um, the global news, everything like that. I don't even know how it's on BBC iPlayer, but give that a shot. That's free to watch on BBC iPlayer as well. Please watch that. Um, I also <coughs> read the Arabic and the English Quran. So obviously there's got um, quite historic uh, meanings of life and it's quite easy to understand in my opinion. The Bottom Billion by Oxford Economics by an Oxford Economics professor. Um, that's that sounds really interesting, but I want to give that a shot. And Critical Thinking by Alec Fisher. Um, some more sort of linking into anthropology. It's Intro to Anthropology. Think Like an Anthropologist by Matthew Engler, Engler K. Um, Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. I've just brought that book and um, Homo Deus by um Yuval, Yuval Noah Harari and I plan to re start reading both of those so I've just ordered them recently and they haven't arrived yet but once they arrived I want to finish Population 10 Billion and Selfish Gene first and then start reading on Sapiens um some more are Do We Need Pandas by Gen 
Ken Compson, The Epigenetics by Nessa Carey Newton, another Netflix docu documentary, Our Planet, and David Attenborough, Life on Our Planet. So that is a bit more geography related, but nevertheless, how can you hate David Attenborough? Um, Anne Frank, Diary of a Young Girl. My plan was to read as many of these as I can, but of course, because there's three sections, I've just gone for one on each section. So Selfish Gene, Population 10 Billion, and uh, Sapiens. But of course, you can f feel free to do whatever. You could do two from each one, even more. Um, but that's my sort of plan. And I plan to talk about all three and make somehow make linkages and connections between all three of the books and what I let what I learned from them. But we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, some of these books I will read at university. So I've obviously got a paper copy that I've just added on books as I go along, and I'll con I will continue doing that. If there's a book that I mean, they say that never judge a book by its cover, but for sometimes the title just sounds really good. So if it does that to me, I just have to write it down somewhere. And otherwise, otherwise I'll just miss it and just feel bad later. So that's how I am with books. Um, but of course, I won't be able to read all of these in sick form. I plan to read some of these at university and beyond. Um, oh, yeah. Furthermore, I also am currently doing EPQ, which I'm submitting in November um, on anti antibiotic resistance and understanding and responding to the emerging crisis. And I've looked at some books, again, can link into the biology or the medical aspect of humans, um, including The Microbes Fight, Fight Back, uh, Antibiotic Resistance by Laura Bowater, uh, The Drugs Don't Work, Global Threat by Penguin Specialists, and Superbugs, Arms Race Against Bacteria. All three of these do cost £25.50 on Amazon, but uh, I plan to read these as well. But I don't know if I'm going to have time. It's the only thing. <laughs> but... Nevertheless, sounds interesting. Books are amazing. <laughs> so sorry for a bit of a rant video. I know that um, with human sciences in general as a degree, there's little guidance out there because it's a small course and not many universities offer it. It's really new, all of that. And I'm just trying to get information out there so students um, can understand what's going to be in the course. And as a prospective applicant, um, I just want to give my guidance, give everyone a fair chance. Um, all of that from my knowledge of the subject obviously I don't study it at the moment but from the research I've done um, hopefully I can advise and help because that's what I want to do uh, so guys that's the end of this video for today <clears throat> once again thank you so much for 1k uh, let's just keep pushing forward see how many subs we can get before I <laughs> give up <laughs> no, I'm joking I'll, I'll never give up but um, if you've got any more books or documentaries that um that could link to this subject and people might find it interesting in relation to human sciences do feel free to comment below um and let other human scientists know